Greetings and welcome to another Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith. It's great to have you here. And an article in New Scientist magazine uh, grabbed my attention back in February, February 14th. I like New Scientist magazine. I try to give them the benefit of a doubt. Uh, they're so addicted to certain ways of thinking that I don't even want to go into right now. But it really is a great magazine. I enjoy the most up-to-date comments on science and research. And this one in particular grabbed my attention. The title was, In Science, Is Honesty Really Always the Best Policy? Question mark. Uh, let me just read some selections from the article. They write, Ah, the naivete of the older generation. Nearly 500 eminent astronomers, biologists, chemists, physicists, and earth scientists have been surveyed to identify the core traits of exemplary scientists. Their answer? Honesty is critical, second only to curiosity, and we ought to do more to instill it in those considering science careers. Now how encouraging, right? But continue. They write, ironically, they are deceiving themselves. Researchers have never been whiter than white. Here are a couple of revealing numbers. About 2% of scientists admit to at least one act of research misconduct. But as a whole, researchers say that around 14% of their colleagues are involved in such behavior. Someone's not being straight. That's not me, that's the article. Uh, another paragraph, it says, those figures come from the 2009 meta-analysis, far more scientifically reliable than a single sample of honored academics, that also found one-third of scientists confessed to, quote, questionable research practices, such as cooking data, mining it for a significant result that is then presented as the original target of the study, selective publication or concealing conflicts of interest. That should bother us. I hope that it bothers you. Uh, they comment here that another study published in October apparently last year, it says scientists are becoming less likely to admit fabrication, falsification, or plagiarism. Now this next thing really bothered me. It says that study also found that researchers see plagiarism as more heinous than making results up. That it was worse to play, don't get me wrong, both are bad, but it was worse to plagiarize someone's results than it is to just make results up. Ah, let me just give you one more salient point from this article and then make a bit of commentary. They ask, how can this be so when honesty is supposedly such an essential attribute? Because it gets the job done. Raymond DeVries at the University of Michigan and colleagues have argued that data manipulation based on intuition of what a result should look like is a quote, is quote, normal behavior. That is not the way science is sold to us. Now please understand, when I say these things, I'm saying this as a fan of science. I'm on record, the camera doesn't lie. You can go back and look at my webcast and I love science. I love the fact that we're exploring the things we don't know and we're exploring this great creation God has given us and the laws that he's put in place and trying to discover them. Frankly, I think it's a noble pursuit in general. At the same time, there's a troubling trend in our society, which is one that wants to paint somehow scientists as the new paragons of honesty, the paragons of trustworthiness, that somehow when someone says science says this, or science says that, that somehow that's a conversation stopper, uh, that well, you can't go against science. Results like these demonstrate that science is a very human endeavor. It always has been. It's always going to be. For one thing, science doesn't always say this and doesn't always say that. And even if science, which is a word, not an actual person, says something, it's humans in science who say those things. Science cannot serve as the ultimate foundation of what we know to be true or false. The Bible actually reveals a very good source of truth. In fact, the only perfect source of truth. Jesus said it most simply in John 17, 17. He spoke to God and said, your 
word is truth. It is the only perfect source we have available to us. Science is wonderful. I, I wouldn't want to be without it. But it, ha- it has not and will not replace God as the source of truth. And never will. Thanks for watching. Please check out everything else we have available at tomorrowsworld.org.